So when I was eight years old, um, Jungle Book just came out and we were in Woolworths and I was begging my mum to buy it for me. And she bought it and we went home and she said, okay, before you watch it, you have to go upstairs and brush your teeth. So I ran upstairs and climbed up onto the edge of the bath to reach my toothbrush to brush my teeth. And then I slipped on a wet tile and there was a broken tile and I cut my lip from here to here and it was really, really bad. And I had to go to the hospital, had to have like 42 stitches in my lower lip, my upper lip, my gum. And when I went to school afterwards, my teacher was horrified and she told me to sit at the back of the class so that no one else would get scared. And she called me baby horror. And that just stuck with me for such a long time. And then even when the stitches came out, I was left with a really obvious scar. And I was just really conscious of it because people used to always say, what's wrong with your lip? What's wrong with your lip? And what's that bump on your lip? So I think that was when I made the decision. I would go into surgery, I would go into healthcare, I would help people and I would help people who had trauma, whether it was physical trauma or emotional trauma. I just knew that I wanted to help people. And, and I also really understood the impact of aesthetics on your mental well-being. So now when patients come to see me and they say, I hate my nose or I hate my acne or I hate my acne scarring and it really impacts me, I really get it and I don't dismiss it. And I think for me, it's so important that I create that safe space to have that discussion. Um, and I think that's been a huge part of my journey.